Están Ready Bros Podcast. Están Ready Bros. Están Ready, bro. Están Ready, perritos. It's been a while, bros. Right here. This is Cheers. for our New Year's. Cheers. Right here. Fucking Cheers, Lent's come. Oh, wait. Lent happened already, right? Yeah. Ash Wednesday, all that stuff. Wait, did you guys give something up? Uh, no, I just... uh. Actually, uh, this is my second shot in the last three months. I've actually cut back my. Wow, life. that's good. Yeah. Woo. To where our fans are saying. I just don't want to end up like uh, with the purple foot and the ailments. Hey, wait. No, dude. I, I used to give up when I was a because I used to go to church a lot as a kid. That big old Barney foot, huh? Bro. I used to go to church when? When I was a kid, dude. Catechism. Remember that shit? Uh, that's it, but you, that, those are your classes to for first communion, right? Yeah, to do first communion. Got the C, small homie. Jeez, did you did you do that, Leo? Yeah, I did. Oh, I'm sorry. Do what? You guys all did catechism? Yeah, bro, catechism. Are both of you guys uh, confirmed, or did you guys just did the first communion? Does that mean when you don't have skin on your dick? No. <laughs> oh wait, <laughs> circumcised. Oh fuck, dude. No, no, I did my first holy communion. I think I was 15. Yeah? Because like the first thing is the baptism, right? Yeah, the baptism. And, the and then you don't have any choice. Uh, you're just a baby. Confirmation, I, I still haven't done. You haven't done? I did. Let's do it. That's... You? Yeah, I did my confirmation. Yeah, I did. Did you really? I, I did it like in the early... It must be like 2001, bro. It was at this church in the Sereno. Right there on Huntington Drive. Right there around the corner from East LA, bro. Because right. you can't get married if you don't do your confirmation. <laughs> no, you can't. What do you mean? Really? What about people that aren't Catholic? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't do mine, bro. Imagine they're like, hey, man, I you told can't. the priest. I didn't, so I didn't you're come. not married, bro? I, bro, I just renewed my 25 years. No, you're, it doesn't. No, it's not it, real, it's all, bro. I, I, yeah, I know. I promise. You've been uh, single priest, this whole bro. time, dude. I don't think I'm single, bro. <laughs> just, I just think people do whatever the whatever they want because yeah, you can, you know when people don't get married and they have kids, you know. If you, uh, what are the kids considered there? You know, they're still kids, but under like, you know, proper stuff or tradition, they're bastards, right? Cause they're <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. No. They're hey. government property, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. It's somebody's property. Because I told my friend that, and he's all, and then wait, like wait, I told him, yeah. Wait, and wait. I wasn't even trying to be a dick. I was actually trying to be funny. And then I, he calls me back like three days later. He's, in the, he's in the truck with, um, with, his, kids? with his kid and with his, uh, his girlfriend. With you know, his bastard kids? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> And he's like, oh, pariente, you're right, man. He is a bastard. <laughs> and I just started laughing. I'm all, I'm not telling you lies. Man. Wait, you went uh, to the whole church thing when you got married? Uh, no, no. We got married no. in Vegas, bro. Vegas, we got bro. married by Elvis. Oh, yeah. You know what? Oh, I, I told my wife. Awesome that, butler, bro. I told my wife that I want to get Get-a married in up, Vegas. Bro. I want I want Elvis to marry me, bro, next year. Really? Yeah, we're going to renew our 26th wedding anniversary. And I want uh, Elvis to marry us. You guys, you guys going to do it at the little wedding chapel? Little little Vegas wedding Is that true? Chapel? They have a drive through yeah, have a oh, no way. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Let me get the number go, two. It's like going to McDonald's, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but it was funny because we got we're, gonna, to 26. we're just gonna get married in Vegas to do it real quick, and um, it's like I guess it's two hundred fifty bucks to have Elvis marry you. No way. But, we got. Did you get the the young version of Elvis or the old? <laughs> yeah. yeah, what version? <laughs> we got the the version of Elvis right before he died. Yeah, he got the version <laughs> that was constipated, uh, right? Yeah, just sitting on the toilet, Elvis. <laughs> All those peanut <laughs> butter and jellies, huh? So they were. Uh, we the reason we got them was because because uh, somebody canceled on them. He's like, hey man, if you guys want me to marry you, it's usually extra, but I do it for free, man. <laughs> just got married by him. He had the whole act and everything, dude. It was hilarious. Bro, I want a Juan Gabriel impersonator to marry me, bro. Uh, no way. Uh, gay wedding? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Uh, that'd be cool, right? Dude, yeah, that'd be different. fun. Like, that, that, I mean, in Mexico, that has to be a thing, right? Like, there's just, like, different impersonators, right? What, wait, is there, Paquita, like... <laughs> Paquita, like <laughs> dude, she's gangster. Like, she's still alive, no? Yeah, I believe so. She's some, somewhere sitting on the couch. <laughs> oh, dude. She probably, dude, she gets fucked. Does she? I don't think. She Wait, she's 70? 80? Nah, she has to be older, older. Than she's probably like she's probably 80. Let's look her up, dude. Yeah, are your phone right here. Oh, dude, she's my phone's uh marketing right now. She's still um she's still gangster, bro. But oh, she live audio? She's gangster as hell, bro. Hell yeah, bro. But what, what what okay, so like my mom loves her. My mom's seen her a couple of times. So what is it about her that is so appealing that she talks crap about men? Rata de dos patas. Well, they're like, her ex they're, they're, they're like cheaters, no? yeah, you know, all her ex lovers. So she's like the Adele of Mexico. Uh, or no, nah, because Adele was kind of married and she had it going on, uh, and then she like they started cheating on her. She's like a Salina, do we know? She's uh, I guess who's like who's whoever's like pro woman but not married. Share. Like, yeah, but the, the, she has her audience is all a bunch of um, bunch of laffy taffy people, no? gay people. Share. Yeah, like thinking like her like she has fans everywhere, bro. She's Seventy six years old, dude. 
No way. Wow. Stallone's fucking age too, bro. Stallone, bro. Uh, He's still up there, no? The Stallone brothers, bro. That's funny. We'll have it. Nothing. Talk about Stallone, bro. You hey, know. yo. <laughs> hey, dude. So I was watching this clip of so it's just Stallone because you know it has a TV show on uh on uh on Paramount. You know, it's like uh, a reality show with him and his uh, daughters and his wife. Our ladies. <laughs> our ladies. So there's a clip. They're like, you, we're gonna we're, we're moving. So him, so me, and my brother, and my wife, we've been talking. You know, because his brother's like hardcore. Frank Stallone. Frank's the one's like a weirdo, bro. He's the one with all those gems, though. No? He's a trumper, right? He's a, he's a hardcore trumper, yeah. but but he was the only uh, way we're gonna shave a man. With Trump. <laughs> but see, he was saying, uh, he was telling his daughters, "We're moving to Florida." And he's like, "But we but we grew up here." So Stallone's been living in LA since 1973. He's like, "I'm, I'm done. I'm over. I got to move out of here." You got like two weeks to live, bro. <laughs> but like he, he's packing his shit and going to Florida, you know? That's, what are we like Rocky Twelve? Now? That, that's because his homie died, bro. Creed. Oh, he died, bro. Damn, Paulo, bro. bro. Paulo died, bro. I didn't think about that. Him, I don't know. It's crazy. Like, look at a guy like that that didn't last as much as Stallone. He was all full of muscles. Yeah. I heard he was like a football player and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Paquita la del Barrio is still alive. Look at him. I know what is going on, bro. She looks like a couch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She looks like the fucking the caterpillar from uh, Alice in Wonderland. But bro. she's 70. The one smoking the pipe? <laughs> yeah. She probably still does concerts, no? Yeah, I think she does. I seen her. I seen her in Zacatecas in 2008. She was yeah. really good, bro. But that was her whole shtick. It was like, rata de dos patas, just bagging on dudes. Damn. And then, you know, the, you know, everybody bowing down. Right? She didn't have, like, new songs that came out, right? No, nah, bro. She's still singing cool. the same songs from, like, 40 years ago. But who broke her heart that hard, bro? Look at her, bro. She looks like Joey. Her <laughs> <laughs> first boyfriend, bro. That's her first boyfriend. Listen, cocksucker, eat it! <laughs> <laughs> cocksucker, rata de los patas. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dude. Oh, man. God, that. But, like, I, on, did, she, did she ever look good? I keep thinking she just looks like she, I think, uh, bro. Like I think everybody looks good in their twenties, bro. I know there's some yeah, people that never on. look. No, no, and that's the thing. If you don't, don't be the ugliest good, person. You yeah, if you don't know, if you don't look good young, that means you were ugly. Really? Yeah. Oh, that means that's your parents so are ugly as fuck, bro. Right, your cousin, bro. Let me say, I just imagine her like looking the same little, bro. Like when you watch like the George Lopez show and they are like playing little kids, but they have the big heads. Yeah, dude, she's still <clears> pretty <throat> butt back then. Now look, dude, she looks like Grisella Blanco right there. She looks like a Russian oligarch, bro. Yeah, she looks like uh, she'll make a sick as. Uh, that's, that's probably fifties, like right there. <laughs> yeah, right there with her little John Madden hairdo. Yeah, she looks like she'll like she looks like she'll make a mad like a mean as a falafel, bro. <laughs> I'm about to call an audible, dude. And then jack you off real good after with those falafel hands, bro. Yeah, she looks yeah. like she wasn't. Nah, she was like a, from one to ten. She's like a four. Bro. Let me yeah, see. Yeah, she looks like Tony Soprano with a wig, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how you doing? Uh, when did it go down down yeah, here? Someone. Patas de dos patas. It was always uh, someone. Hill. Someone broke her. That's that's a Trump hair right there, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> make, make, Make Paquita great again, bro. <laughs> Rata de dos patas. Oh, dude. She has an Instagram, bro. Damn. No way. Yeah, 315,000 <laughs> followers, bro. Damn. She has Reina a y defensora de las mujeres. Way. Alto Lucero Veracruz, 45 años de trayectoria. Manager Mexico y los Estados Unidos. Uh, el rincón de, <laughs> de inútil. <laughs> she has a, a, link, a link tree, bro. She has an OnlyFans. Crank up one of her songs, bro. Yeah, she's gonna put it only for that. She's gonna show us her penis. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Rata de una pata. <laughs> yeah, dude, look at her, bro. God damn! Yeah, yeah she doesn't even stand anymore, dude. When her shows, she she's dressed like Homer Simpson when he gains weight with <laughs> yeah, the mumu. Dude. You know, this is the type of lady that, like, uh, when she goes up to eat tacos, uh, the taqueros like en la madre. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get another shot. Kill it, bro. Hey, what you? the fuck hey, is this? Again? How about take the condom off, bro? <laughs> oh, hey, dude, that's what she <laughs> said, bro. Oh, there you go, funny guy. All of a sudden, oh man, <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> yeah, dude, she's a legend, bro. Uh, Las mujeres mandan gracias a Paquita. So when was she like popping like the seventies? Because like I always that's heard true, her. Yeah, right. No, maybe eighties. No, Probably late eighties. Uh, let's, let's do her first. W- what did your parents listen to, uh, Leo, when you were a kid? Like, what was always playing? My dad was Bad more. Hand. <laughs> My dad was like yeah, hardcore, Bruce Springsteen. hardcore Jose Fred Jimenez. Bro. I was born in <laughs> Born in the Monte, homie. El Monte, bro. No, Jose Fred Jimenez, bro. He, your dad was from Zacatecas and he wasn't all about Antonio Aguilar? <clears throat> no, bro. Damn. It was all Jose Fred Jimenez, bro. Damn. I'm sure he, li- he liked them, you know? Yeah, get that shit out of here, dude. Don't play that on my radio. <laughs> yeah, but um, he, he was he, hardcore. But the thing is with him, he's an original, he's an original song uh, writer. Him and, uh, him and uh, Javier Solis. Aguilar, right? 
No, no, no. I'm talking about uh, the who your dad like. Oh, Jose Fredo. Yeah, yeah. Those, yeah, those yeah, are, yeah. They're the ones that wrote. El, he wrote <coughs> El Rey, all the all the hits that, that you know the stuff that Chente covers and now we like take for granted that we think it's a Chente song. Yeah. So what I was telling you, I didn't know that he passed away at 46 years old. Wow. That's when. Uh, that's when. Uh, after that. Uh, because <clears throat> he was so Jose Fredo Solis they're all like fucking hardcore that that, that was their era no in the, in the 70s 60s and 70s no because that was the time after uh, uh, Jorge Negrete and they were, that's a, Negrete. that was after the golden era of like Mexican movies let me just uh, real quick uh, uh, these are the uh, the description of her first hits Paquita La del Barrio Tres veces te engañé Cheque en el blanco. Damn, she cheated on her husband? Rata de dos patas. That's the most popular one, right? Me saludas a la tuya. Amor perdido. Uh, lámparas, lámparas sin luz. Yeah, damn, pay the bills, bro. Hey, taco plaza. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah. Eh, Piérdeme el respeto. Hey, but you think her and Linda Rostand kind of go at it? Like, who's, no, Linda, as, well, far as, Linda, as far as like Linda, hits. Linda Rostand... Like it's kind of a good little good looking cute chick. But they're making a movie out of her. Yeah, she's a, to me she's like kind of mo- modern day uh, Selena Gomez. <laughs> Selena Gomez is actually yeah. playing her, no? Really? Well, I yeah. kind of looked similar because you yeah. know she used to go out with the uh, Governor Moonbeam, right? Jerry ba- Brown back hmm. in the day in the seventies. No, you know who was in her band? The two guys from the Eagles, Glenn Fry and Don Henley. With her, with yeah, her. Yeah, they, that was her band, uh, drums and uh, and guitar. That really? She, she gets down, bro. But I was going to... Damn, dude, I lost my train of thought with pa- the Rust- pa- pa- Paquita La del Barrio. I was going to say something about her. She gets laid. She gets uh, eaten know. out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure, bro. You think, oh, dude, funeral, you think she get she gets buried? Some, uh, some, like, some, like, she gets some albañil right there. <laughs> 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 hey, but I think she'll be, when she passes, she'll get buried here over there. Wait, wait, well, where's she from? A lot of the stars get buried over here, right? In Miami. <laughs> they get right? buried in fucking Rose from? Hills, bro. Like <laughs> <laughs> Montebello, bro. I want to say Next to Easy, homie. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like uh, Walter Mercado in the, yeah, <laughs> in the way, dude. dude. <laughs> and she has, she's like more manly than Walter Mercado for sure, dude. Walter Mercado, bro. Fuck. Oh, hey. We don't have that no more, bro. Oh, uh, dude, that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about. All right. Paquita, Paquita la del Barrio. De uh, donde se yo. She's from Compton, homie. It is a Compton way. Uh, she's from El Monte. Yeah. <laughs> La Puente, bro. I've seen a whole bunch of ladies like her that, <laughs> that look like her that in El Monte, Huntington Park, bro. Southgate, dude. <laughs> it's, so, it's so funny because I was watching the Selena documentary. My mom's and, almost no. transforming to her, I, dude. And I was I was seeing uh, the picture of the lady that killed Selena. And I was like, dude, there's a lot of Mexican moms that look like this. <laughs> <laughs> my mom, bro, she's transforming well, into a Yolanda. I, I look at your mom. Like, and I've only seen her in pictures. I think I've seen her one in real life, once in real life. But your mom doesn't look like one of these ladies. Yeah. Wait, does she have the curly hair or no? Who, my mom? No, yeah. Yolanda. She has curly hair, yeah. I think it was curly back in the day when she was a nurse. And then uh, when that, she had, when she had no collagen, bro. But back then, like in the 80s, the curly hair was in, though. No? Yeah, yeah. Like the perms. Yeah, you could you couldn't tell the difference between the pubes or the top of the hair, bro. <laughs> she's from Veracruz, bro. Wait, wait, she's from down there, bro. Yeah, dude. She's all Caribbean. Damn, bro. Pinche Caribe. What do you want to tell us about what? You guys see the because uh, we never <clears throat> talked about it. We mentioned it on the other pod, but uh, uh, the documentary about Selena, dude, the one on Hulu. No, you haven't seen it yet. I, I've seen I saw I've seen parts of it on TikTok. Oh my god, dude. And so like, cheat, so they're having an affair? And no, no, dude. Like, well, I don't. I haven't seen it. They were I don't trying to give her, her side of the story, but there's a reason why it's, why it's not on like Netflix. Why it's on just on Hulu? And uh, Netflix did the show about Selena, and then they uh, then they played the Selena movie with Jennifer Lopez. Mm-hmm. That's enough. You don't need to get that lady a platform. But it's all about how like they cheated her. And like it was an accidental shooting, mm. which it really wasn't. No. And then um, they, they confronted her about stealing, and then like you know she came out with that, and then you know she tur- she bought a gun a week before. <clears throat> oh. And then it's her family members, her sisters, daughters, who are t- these two big old hippopotamuses, mm. the size of this table, dude. You know what I mean? Those <laughs> people, <laughs> you know those, uh, those people that are so fat that you know they never sweated in their life. Yeah, they you keep know, they keep all just, the calories. Yeah, in. it's just all in there. It's just like. It's just like a garbage bag full of like <laughs> sebel. Oh, which sebel? Oh, sebel. Oh, yeah. oh, Lard, bro. Two big old sebel sides, dude. And then they had like a, a a brother that's sitting there like a cholo with like a diabetic shoe underneath the table. 
And it's like, and then there's <coughs> saying like they sometimes she treated her bad and like Selena. Also, yeah, you, but that's so not a fucking reason but, to kill somebody. Dude, you know what, what it, the it, fuck, it showed yo? me, and it, it was telling me it was like you can't have certain people around you, dude. You have to be guarded. And like just because yep. somebody comes up to do your fan club, you go, look, we built this from the bottom up. This was our warehouse, bro. If it wasn't for Selena, you'd be on the corner begging. Yeah. And it's just a psychotic fan. They got in there some <coughs> way, somehow, and then clung on her. And on the end, in the end, ended up killing her, dude. Damn. Yeah, yeah. Like you, you, you kind of, like, and it's, it sucks because they kind of did it to themselves. But you really have to like, you can't have everybody around. That's why. And it's like, I mean, I see it all the time. We're like. And you're like, dude, this person's gonna be a problem, dude. Or you got this person's already a problem. And like, whoa, dude, is this guy really kicking it? Is this person really kicking it? You got, you got to do like a, what's called veto, or you got to check people's uh, like. You gotta kind of like there has to be a background check, a background check or procedure yeah. to kind of like you know see who this person actually is because like. It's cool that there's a that's fan. Me, like zip recruiter, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Background check and all that shit, homie. Cause think about what this lady ended up doing. And she's all she was getting ready to go back to nursing, and you know it was, and it was so funny to me that like, they were saying they never convicted her of embezzling money. They didn't have to. They just had to prove that you're embezzling money. That your intent on yeah. killing her was like legit. Dude. So you can go to jail for you know forty years. It doesn't matter. You fucking killed her. Who's, what's, what? 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 What supersedes that? And it's court. so crazy because they she shot her right, and then she gets out of the hotel and starts running, and then she draws her gun again, and then she yells at her. And this is witness statements. Wait, yeah. I thought she, she was inside bitch. that truck. No, I was after. she was inside the truck where she was acting like, oh. "I'm gonna kill myself." And then that's one thing the prosecutor said that like, <clears> "Okay, <throat> so you accidentally shot her." In the hotel room, right? But for like eight or nine hours, she had a gun to her head and she never accidentally shot herself. Yeah, so yeah. How could that be a mistake? Oh, damn. So she's like, and legitimately, this lady's crazy, bro. Yeah, she's and in not, denial. Not, not crazy, like <coughs> walk across the street without looking both ways crazy, but like conniving, super fan, like um, obsessed crazy, dude. I ain't no psychiatrist or a psychologist, but, but you can tell, bro. Come on, you have kids. You know when they're like, "Okay, dude, enough with the act, dude." Like, <laughs> what what really happened? Yep. You really want me to tell you what happened? Then they tell you another lie. You're like, "Oh my god, dude, I'm about to throw this dude through a wall." <laughs> but you can't. You haven't seen. I haven't seen that. But uh, yeah, she's a disgusting human. Hulu. Oh, dude, horrible, dude. But I didn't even watch the whole thing. I couldn't anymore with those. Those they're not even parasites, dude. They're like. Dude, those two big old, it, it, they look like manatees. Mm. And she gets paid for this thing or no? I don't, I that's don't a good know. Question. I'm sure there's some kind of compensation. There has to be some kind of like for the sales or and something they, like that. It was weird because then they had this girl that was supposedly a journalist that was born in like nothing against her, you know, had knew nothing, but she's giving her opinion <laughs> on the podcast. Oh, yeah. So that day, it's like, you weren't even there. Yeah. It was, but it's one of those little cheap little documentaries <laughs> that's on Hulu, but... I think it was a, not the best production value, whatever. But it was just, so they sold it and they got it up there. It was it, it, directed it in, as in opposed to quality, it was quantity, yeah. and it's one of those things that like Bro. she's trying to basically trying to because she's up for pro next year, so she's trying to make fee, people at least feel kind of bad for her, you know. So like I guess you kind of feel compassion for her, so like people don't fuck her up when she. Oh, dude, I don't think she gonna, should ever be released ever, and I'm surprised nobody killed her already. In there, right? Yeah. And it, dude, she died, you know? dude. She was 23, dude. Young ass I fuck. I forgot how because, and I'm not because you know there's a lot of super fans or whatever. Everybody knows her music, but I'll be honest with you, I never really heard about her until like uh, after she uh, blew up after uh, her passing. But one thing, you know, she's you know super talented, but life cut short like that. But then it was also funny to me too, like. The husband, he loved her. Like, if I was married to Selena, he got married, right? yeah. I would never marry another woman again. I'd be done. That's, like, yeah. I like, do this, you know what I mean? I'll be right there next to the statue every day taking a lunch. <laughs> like, you should try these tacos. Huh? <laughs> I wish I could. <laughs> no. but, uh, Wait her for life, homie. But uh, he, like, within a year, got married, had kids, something. I don't know. Within a year? I think within a year. Yeah. Oh, my but gosh. He, he, did, he divorced her, no? The... No, no, I think they were married when They're still died. together? Yeah. Oh, the girl he has kids with now. I th I think something. I don't know. Oh, he's probably married again or something. Yeah. Like so she's over there just dipping in the chicks left and right. Huh? <laughs> Damn, dude. Yeah. You, you think know. he's he thinks about Selena when he when married, he's fucking a girl? Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh that'll, that'll be like too creepy. It's like Damn. you know, like um, uh, like not married with children. <laughs> you know when they would have Bundy, that girl uh, spend the night like for a week, and then um, 
And then uh, uh, Al would just grab Peg and take her upstairs and do Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But he was thinking about that girl, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's all, he's all, all right, Peg, we got to get rid of her. And then even Peg's like, hey, you should stay longer because, you know, Peg never gets laid. <laughs> That's hilarious. Dude, and it's like, but, you know, I mean, I... <laughs> Dude, that shit got away with a lot of stuff. I'm saying, bro. like, I've never done it, like, in the act of having, you know, but I'm sure when you're jerking it, you're like, oh, I'm thinking about, okay, the all right, the girl from the bus. The girl from the bus. Uh, bu- uh, the gas dude. station. Oh, the girl from uh, Gallo Hito. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Gallo <laughs> Hito. Damn, bro. Oh, I used to work Gallo. there. I used to work there for one day. You worked oh, at Gallo Hito? One, bro, dude, I worked there one day. That's a new bang bus, dude. Yeah. yeah. Still around? Dude, the guy, there's a whole bunch of Gallo Hito, No bro. way. Yeah. yeah. I worked the one in, in Armani right there in front of the, the Pep Boys. I was there for one day, bro. One night, I was there eight hours, maybe working an extra three hours, bro. Cleaning fucking those um big old oyas and shit with yeah. grease, bro. I said, fuck this, I quit. Hey, guy who heroes are that, modern bro. now. Hey, and like, hey, dude, hey, the bicep girls there, man. Hey, uh, yeah, see. Wait, bro, right right there, that's when you were like super American. You're like, dude, I can't do that. I can't do that, bro. <laughs> I thought I about my, it. I am my Theo, bro. No, I, I can't. <laughs> I was, I was what, right after high school. I can't do this shit. Dude, uh, <laughs> I had a job like that. And I was like, I just like uh, a restaurant job, but I was never like in the k- kitchen cleaning or I was, a, I was a waiter. So I was like, there's no way I could do with that hot ass water. You see those dudes, their hands oh, are all dude. red. <clears throat> yeah, dude. All pruny. And it's funny about working at a restaurant. I remember one time this lady was complaining about her soup. And I, and I was telling the you know the the cook and he was like some big old dude from like Mexico or whatever. He's all <laughs> he's mean, bro. He's all you know well not a And then that fool sticks his finger in it, dude. Oh and then he saw it, then he got an, another thing and just just you know gave it some more so it can get hotter. And that was it. I was like, damn. I feel stuck his finger in it. Like, that guy I can think would have sex with Paquita Lada. Oh, for <laughs> sure. Dude, yeah. That, you've seen guys like that that they look like they'll be like, oh, yo, si se lo entierro, güey. Oh, a mi no más, no me importa nada, no más que haya un hoyo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Oh, hey, they're right there with the chick. Estás ready, bro? <laughs> <laughs> so I think guys get to that point in their life. Like, they start off with standards, you know, yo no, yo, and then after that, you just get short, old, you know, and then like, Fucking, you just like. I don't think your standards will ever go ever go low. I think so. I don't, they don't go, they don't Why? go low for they me because I've never been that way. Because I've uh, there's girls that like me, and I didn't want to do anything with them. And then another goes, "I'll take her." Then I'm like, take her. <laughs> I think your standards wow. should be. You scored, bro. Your, your standards should be just the way. You want it. That's it. I mean, look at me. You can't dude. change, bro. I'm fat, but I don't like fat chicks. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, but what's your standard? My standard is like Rashida Jones and Celine Dion. <laughs> Celine Dion, dude. But I think like I don't know, but you see, on that big old toe, bro. <laughs> but you see, just guys that like I mean, they, they do not give a fuck. They're like, I mean, no import, come on, they're like, oh yours, oh your way. When I used to do pest control, I would work was working with the boss's uh, brother, and he didn't even care. They all just doing coke in the morning, drinking forties. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. But when I would smoke weed and like he'd kind of get like a side high. Oh, you messed me up, bro. I don't know. Yeah, those seventeen lines didn't do nothing. <laughs> but they're all like, oh, you don't like her more for me, and I was like, oh, she's gross. Look at that diaper. Bro. <laughs> I'm a, I was, I was, I guess I, I think too much, dude. We're like, oh my god, just imagine all the heat in it right now. Hey, you know, it's, it's marinating, top, homie. It's summertime. On top of that, it's like, come on, dude, no way, dude. A dump truck, bro. Oh, you, 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 you knew, you knew people like that that like just like tore up anything up. I had a couple of, like really scandalous friends do that. They just hit whatever. Because what they say, you know, like uh, it's just sex, right? Or uh, vaginas, vagina. <clears throat> I just think it's like, dude. We still have to have a standard, bro. Yeah, bro. Come on. I, I remember the first time I was with a girl where I touched it, where I touched the cookie. Yeah, that's her right now. Mm. She's screaming. Hi, <laughs> but, Rodrigo. Uh, I remember it was the stinkiest. Joseph It was the stinkiest thing I've ever smelled in my to this day. Really? Yeah. And I went home what that night. Like and I got that? home. Dude, come on, bro. You know what it smelled like? like it was like very, like very, very uh, pescatarian. Mmm, um, fucking mariscos, homie. No, isn't that mariscos taste smell good? Like this. <laughs> um, I remember going home and I was like oh, two fifteen in the morning, and then my mom just starts banging on my door at about two thirty. Por qué huele? What's that smell? Shut the no, fuck yeah, up! What's that smell? I was like, what are you talking about? Wait, you about? tore it up? No, I oh. just, I just, you know, went down there and felt it. And, um, and your hand was just smelly. Dude, I was, I think I was like 19. Like, I was afraid to have sex with her because I didn't want to get her pregnant, dude. And then, like, I was double afraid to have sex with her because 
it smelled so bad, dude. And I was just like, bro. But it looked <clears> nice, bro. But I was just like, nah, dude. Her pH balance must have been off, bro. Because I went back into the house after that. People are like, what's, what's that smell? Wait, wait, wait. But you hit it or no? No. No, you just but touched you backed it. backed out. It's just my head. Yeah, I backed but out. But what did she say? Like, what What the fuck? She, nah, she, yeah, she's like, come on. And I'm all, I'm <laughs> How did she look like? How did she look like, though? She yeah. was cute, bro. Really? Yeah, dude. But it was just like, it was, dude. It was, she was that, cute, but. That, that, that smell was insane, bro. So, What's her name, bro? Uh, Smelina, dude. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> uh, Smelina? Smerolina, dude. Smerolina. The kids, dude, up north. Oh, uh, fuck. <laughs> so, uh, I'm my ha- mom comes <laughs> in my room. <laughs> no, dude. And then she opens up my window and she grabs me and she puts my arm. Dude. She, wait, wait, wait. She the knew chick, it was coming from my mom. His oh, mom, your mom. My mom. Oh, his mom's getting mad because of the smell. She takes off the screen. I'm like, I'm talking about. But wait, did your mom know, like, what was of up? Of course she knows. Oh, shut up. <laughs> and I don't know if my dad was, like, hitting her and going, hey, dude, tell oh. that guy to put his arm out the window or oh. cut it off. Was your dad proud of you, though? I don't, I don't know about all that. I don't that. think he was proud of <laughs> So, uh. Like piss, bro. So, uh, so my mom takes the screen off the off the window, and I had my desk in front of it. She's all like doing it, like she did it in the matter of, like sixty seconds, dude. And then she grabs me by my other uh, by my other <coughs> arm and puts me by the desk and puts my arm out the window. She's all keep it outside. Shut oh, up, like that yeah, bad, bro. And, and I was, you didn't fuck at least like you didn't wash it. Didn't I have dude, I washed it, bro. It was still fucking. But I washed it at the at that pad. So like a like, skunk, like, homie. So then oh, after fuck, that, man. like I was like, yeah, put I, gas in that shit, bro. I had a. I remember I got a candle from this other girl that I really liked <laughs> and didn't want to do nothing with me. Oh man, and I was man, like rub, rubbing up. my hand on the candle, and then I finally just took a shower. And you should have got fucking sunblock, bro. That shit, but it's also like sunblock. It's also even smells strong, dude. Even after I I took a shower and everything. Don't have Oh, yeah. you, oh, can, shit. You, can, you still had like a little bit I'm all it's still in here it's still like underneath the fingernail or something no and, uh, it was like that Folgers <clears throat> commercial from back of the day like it was like I was waking everybody up in the house like <laughs> mm. yeah. oh shit that's funny bro and then my sister was uh, she was like two years older than me she's like dude what was that fucking smell last night god damn oh my dude, dude you're a scandalous and you didn't try after again with that chick? I had never seen her again, bro. So it's like it's like then a, other fools got at it, dude. No. Oh well, yeah, dude, it's just good, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bro. No, you should just shower, bro. And I still kind of like at the back of my head, I'm like, dude, I should have just hit him. I was just like afraid that I, should, I didn't have a con, nothing, dude. Just blasting there real quick. Damn, I would have had a thirty year old fool right now. Oh damn, smell, uh, smell uh, you, fool. You're a young ass dad, uh, fuck, dude. My, my little son, stinky. Stinky. <laughs> <laughs> See, aquí, wey, apestoso, wey. Oh, yeah, dude, that's I had a situation like that too when I was up, uh, man. Uh, shit, this must have been like in 2011. There's one girl I remember, like, uh, we did it in high school, and after that, um, we just stopped talking because she moved. And then, like, 10 years later, uh, or like, it must have been like a couple years later, crazy little connections, like, yeah. And we that. saw again each other on Facebook, and like, oh my god, we're like, so when we first started dating, we're like. We're like 14, and after that, later on, we're like 21, 22. Like, oh my gosh, we found each other. She lived like in West Covina. I live in Alhambra, and we hung out. And then I remember, like, uh, we were just messing around in the car because, like, she lived at home, I lived at home. And I remember, like, uh, one time we're like in the car, and we're making out. We're, and we fixing par- his collar. Hey, dude, let me tell a story. <laughs> and we parked somewhere, <laughs> right? Bro. No, there, nobody's here, right? No, your, your, your kids aren't here. <laughs> I have his headphones on. <laughs> And then we're like, we're in, the, we're in my car, my my badass Celica, my my fucking uh, auto, automatic Celica, homie. The blue one? No, the yeah, the gray one I had. Oh, okay, oh, no, no, I remember the. Not stick, bro. Fucking oh, automatic. Bro. I was too. You can't drive stick. Can't drive, bro. Come on. No, bro. Come on, man. You go back me up on. If I was driving stick, I would have been able to I'm finger a, this a, girl, bro. I'm tell you right now, if you had a father, you'd probably be driving stick. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, bro. That's true. <laughs> but my mom actually showed me how to Oh, man. <laughs> it's fucked up. That's Paquita power right yeah. there. Throw another one in here, dude. See you, way, I can know so, But finish that story, though, dude. Oh, okay, okay. Man, it's a, uh, she was Salvadorian. Not that that has anything to do with it, bro. <laughs> Let me tell you something, dude. I know people bag on Salvadorians as well as they do on anybody else, but some of those most sexiest women I've ever seen in my life have been Salvadorian girls. Mm-hmm. I love Salvadorian, bro. Jose V, bro. Jose V, dude. Uh, homie. That's a Salvadorian dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Salvadorian, Salvadorian king, mama. bro. <laughs> hey, he's, he supposed to bring me papusas, bro. Yeah, you he, need to try papusas, dude. He promised yeah. me papusas, bro. That's that Paquita la del barrio look, too, huh? <laughs> <laughs> dude, he's cool, bro. I love Jose. Ready? Yeah, man. So, uh, mm-hmm. what happened, dog? Mm. Uh, so, like, we're like, we were like dating for a like, couple months, like two months. She didn't give it up, bro. She didn't, like, she didn't give it up easily, man. Wait, how old were you? 
I was like 21, 22. 21, okay, 20, I think I was 21, I was about to be 22. Yeah, you better buy me a house. <laughs> <laughs> you she was So we, we would always meet up, right? She either drive to me, and after that, we go drive to like the, right there, like uh, the the industrial part, Monterey Park, and we mess around the car. Or I drive to here, and we like mess around somewhere like in like West Covina, right? I'll see you fool's tag, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we're like, we're in the car, bro, and they're like, dude, just the smell. It smells like como casi pudrido, you know? Like, kind of like rotten, but I think it's just- what? No, I think it's just her pH bounce was just off, bro. Uh, uh, I, uh, no. The girl that I was with, or uh, that one time, she was partying all day, bro. She like wasn't sweat, really, like she s- wasn't really drunk, but she was hanging out all day, and I just do it all day because this was at like midnight, you know, when this went down. So, she, and I, I was hanging out with her like she was like <clears throat> we were partying since like ten in the morning. She so what she the? Put, yeah. She didn't put like deodorant. <clears throat> or what? Well, like, <laughs> no time for that, bro. Down there, dude. Oh know? shit. <laughs> Melt the deodorant bottle. But, uh, <laughs> so by the time it was midnight, oh, that now, thing bro. was like smelling like a club. Bro. Oh, dude, it's it's it's, it's like what people do about recoil underground, bro. It was already oh, fucking man. steamy, it, it, homie. But I know that smell you're talking about. It's like that kind of smell that like when you start like pulling up to a recycle center. Yeah, but it, it, it like kind of pierces yeah. your nose. And my house thinking either she has a yeast, bro, or her pH bounce is off. You know, something's something's off. But I remember like I was like. Yeah. But I was still horny, bro. And I, we were like, and I was like, you know, doing my miseditos. And then when it, when it, uh, <laughs> when it, it just smelled so much. And, and it, when it came time to do it, I remember uh, she was like, all right, I'm fucking horny. Like, enough of fucking being in the car. So I remember, uh, and end up like fucking in the car, and let's fucking like let's like like we need a big space to fuck. So like I'm really like, she waited. Damn, to, like, uh, hey, that's Johnny Chinka status, bro. Yeah, 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 it is, dude. <laughs> that's what you did. She's an acrobat, dude. <laughs> so then I remember like uh, she's like, all right, I'm gonna go inside my house, wait a little bit outside, and I'm gonna open, uh, take off the spring, then you just jump in, right? So she did that, bro. We I went in there, and she was going crazy. I'm like, your grandma's gonna here because she loves her grandma. She was going fast like that, bro. Oh, she can't she even was, hear, bro. God, God, maybe that's probably why she did that. Wait, wait, she's on top of you or on top of me dude yeah like fucking she was dude like we're like moving to like the, the, the like the side Quick bro question, was she a virgin or no 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 no, no. she was a virgin oh no. dude it's like she's so sinister with it but also like she kept it like lady like huh oh, yeah you can't hit this <laughs> <laughs> so, so crank yeah, up yeah, the AC, it bro. took three months you know yeah but like, yeah and after that i remember like i do well leah bro i remember she was like we're done she's like let's do it again she's like eat me out like oh you know like <laughs> i got i i i, I got I, I i got a cold so i want to give it to you you know did you have one no, I lied, bro. Wait, and she said, she said, she, she said, literally, eat me out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After that, with another day, hey. that same night, and then oh, she was like, stick it in without, without one. I'm like, nah, oh, you know, because I don't know myself. You know, I might get a somewhere, bro. <laughs> and, I, and I didn't do because I like the smell. I'm thinking she has something, oh, bro. Dude. Well, funny. the thing is, too, I think when women smell like that or girls, because you know they're not. I don't think a full grown woman is like she's 25, dude, and got her shit together, whatever that means. But. Um, <laughs> You know, like when you're out there hoeing, you just really don't know. And it's not that you're hoeing, but you know, you're just you're, you're living life. Yeah. yeah, 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 exactly. Oh, but I think they don't they don't know since they're around that smell. Maybe to them, it's like, oh, what are you talking about? Just like, yeah, don't worry about it. It's, it's not as bad. It's kind of when we shit, like it doesn't. I, I like you know, you, you smell. You're like, all oh, right, bro. bro. I went to a, a little concert on a Friday with my um, with my wife and my kid. And dude, I had gas and like, dude, I was in there <laughs> farting like, dude, people, oh, man, what the fuck is that, Jeez, man? And she's work. all like, what, what's, what, what'd you eat? I'm like, it's the same thing you guys ate the last three days. And I was just like, dude, sorrillo style, bro. Like, dude. But to me, it doesn't smell. Yeah, but yeah. To somebody else, are like, God damn, bro. You know what smell? Is I don't. A dead Wuhan bad The smell I don't like is like, remember like the old like Vegas, the old, uh, like the old hotels. Cigarettes? Yeah, the secret. Like, like circus, circus. So, uh, dude, that is just because yeah. it gets on you. I hate. That's hate a D Martin smell, smell bro. It's, it's, I don't like cigarettes. It's, it's on the walls already, dude. That's I don't why like when that, people bro. say like they don't know smoking, because you do. It smells. It stinks. But I hate. I don't like smoking. Same, same thing with weed, but <clears> I think weed smells better. Weed, I don't mind it, you know. But like a cigarette smell, yeah, it's, it's, it's a it's, stench. It's, it's ugly, huh? Like that smell's never gonna leave like those Vegas hotels, right? Dude, so, yeah, but you gotta scrub with with fucking demo, bro, and then paint. Yeah, because when the carpet. When I used to do Postmates, I remember uh, somebody ordered uh, food from uh, the Beverly Hotel, which is like an old, like, you know, famous hotel that, you know, celebrities used to stay there back in the day. I went in there and, like, nobody can smoke inside any, you know, any place in LA or California, like, for like, the, for like, what, 20 years already? Mm-hmm. Went in there, bro. Smell like cigarettes from, like, oh, back in the yeah. day, man. Like, come on, okay. And grain in there, you know? Like, oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Humphrey like Bogart used to smoke in that corner over there. Yeah, Lucio Ball, bro. Just like shit like that, dude. Lucio Ball, bro. She was gangster, huh? Lucio Ball? Dude, yeah, she was like the she's Paquita, punk. bro. Yeah, she's punk her husband, huh? 
I that. think the husband kind of ran game on her, no? He's always cheating on her ass? Dude, I saw like a couple of like, those biographies, you know, and like he was a player, bro. Uh, Ricky Ricardo, he cheated on her like so many times. He, She dumped him, though, right? At the end, yeah. I think, yeah, yeah. But then, then he came it back. Don't matter like, about me, Lucy. I must still have a fun. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but he he was a man, though, right? For oh, Latino, bro. right? Yeah. Oh, dude. They own, that, they own that RKO Studios, dude. That's crazy, bro. They own RKO Studios? Yeah. Really? They they were pretty much like the first ones to modernize what a sitcom is now. Like it's because of them. Like you know the like, the different cameras and like Great camera angle. Yeah, yeah, but man, that's crazy. I don't know. Yeah, back in the day, it was just like one shot the living room and everybody acting inside that box. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Ricky Ricardo, bro. Yeah, bro. Fucking. So what's going on, bro? What's, what else is new, bro? <laughs> forever, bro. Tell us, hey, bro. bro. Where's that stinky wussy, bro? Uh, dude, so what? There. What hand was it, bro? The left or right? The one? right one. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, like I think when you do, when you do that hand, with bro. a girl, like you know, it's like it's just like you know your jerk hand and your, and your fingering hand. You know, I don't <laughs> think it. you. I don't think you it's go like, with like the left or it's like go with, Yeah, yeah. You you go with the <laughs> with the with the righty tidy oh, or the lefty Lucy. That's funny, bro. All right, so I want to do something because you know like, we like to try stuff. Just you, you can take a bite, but we talked about this. So in Mexico City, um, for some reason, this is popular, bro. Two um, dollar Mexico. What for homeless people? Yeah, but you were talking so <laughs> bolillo <laughs> way. Bolillo. So, dude, actually, dude. Okay, so I went in to get More these bolillos. Man, bro. I went to get these bolillos. I went to get these bolillos at the. Your mom made them, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Can you please pay for him? <laughs> Northgate, bro, I went in there and I saw there's a fucking line of people waiting for warm bolillo. Oh, that's, it's uh, It's not warm anymore, but uh, um, well, definitely it, fresh. It's fresh, but like there's a line. I'm like, what the fuck is this on a fucking month? What, what is this? Monday, Tuesday? Monday. On a Monday, bro? Like this is more like weekend shit, yeah? Dude, they're the bomb with, with like fucking ham and cheese, bro. Like fucking so, chavo locho. So what are you talking about? What are you, what are you gonna try? We about? talked about this. So. I ain't eating that shit. I'm gonna take a bite. Wait, we're gonna put that. In this inside? is a fucking thing. And no, people it, are not putting. Yes, that shit they in. are, bro. No. Tell, tell him, Rodrigo. I, this guy said, oh. "Tell him, dude. I'd rather go find that girl again right now." <laughs> um, dude, uh, Wait, I'm put not. That eating, they make uh, a Jello tortas, basically. Jello torta, no. Yes, dude. It's a it's a thing. It's an actual uh, dessert in Mexico. Torta de. Look it up. Torta de... No Gelatina? Gelatina, si. Mexico City. <clears throat> like, bro, like, like, what, what's happening here? Seriously, like, homies just want to eat garbage? That's, like, gross. You know, that's that pinche... Like, in Mexico, because you're like this, you know? Like, they fucking actually do it like that, bro. It's like ghetto peanut butter and jelly. Yeah, do you right now? I'm a, uh, you guys talk about fucking women, but I'm gonna I'm gonna find an actual video. Como says? <laughs> so is it like too, is it sweet or what? Um, are you gonna try this? Here, here. Oh, okay, bolillo con gelatina. Okay. I put torta de gelatina. Are you gonna try this? Is a bolillo with this? So in Mexico they eat it like that. It's a he's a like, fuck this shit, dude. It's like I'm not get sick. Uh, dude, I was uh, raised. Uh, with uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> I know, right? This is like if you're like a little kid, like asking for change right there by the subway. Do, huh? do you have a fork or no? I have a spoon, yeah. yeah. All they do is fingers over there, bro. I know, right? So like that's what they do like Mexico it's City. It's just like it's a thing that they do, bro. It's like a, it's like a dessert. I don't know. like so for some reason, bolillo is really popular with like a lot of stuff out there. Uh, yeah, usually well, like not... uh, carne asada. Yeah. <laughs> I know, but these guys, because they put they put fucking uh, they put uh, say they put tamales inside gelatinas, bro. So it's like no, they don't. Yes, mira, mira, torta de gelatinas. Look at that shit, mira, como lo hacen. The fuck, dude. I think if you do this, you should get deported. They are in Mexico already, bro. Uh, no, here, aquí, no. And they, is it like a ten? I mean, is it good? That good? I don't know, mira. mira. Oh. Like that, bro. That's an actual fucking dessert out That's there. That's like, dude, we don't. Uh, no. Meat doesn't exist anymore. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, expensive, bro. We ran out of dogs over there. I'm going to try one. Have I'd you guys. Ra I'd rather eat a torta de grillos, bro. <sighs> Chapulines? I tried just for the content, bro. All That's right, it. Right. You, Roger can uh, comment on the thing, but keep. <sighs> Fuck, bro. I don't know, man. I'll try it, bro. Fuck it. What if it's like the best thing ever? No, probably not. <laughs> I think if it was the best thing ever, we we would know, bro. Anyway, so a uh, Jello, 
Jello fucking uh, hood up. Like, I need to cut these open or like just like rip them open. You can rip them open yourselves. Yeah, yeah, rip them open because here, mm. have one. These are actually fucking fresh as fuck, dude. Like, show, show the camera. Let me. Uh, You tell it smells good though. You get get one just to comer así, right? Oh, I just good. I already had two slices of pizza, dude. Aquí bolillo, look at this. <laughs> this. These are the gelatinas right here. Yeah. Show them the the jello. Yeah. You gonna do that gelatina? Is this what got Chingo Bling canceled? <laughs> oh my! So dump the whole thing. Or it's better. I have a. Where's that thing? What is that? Or right here? Dude, I could jello just like that. Here you go. Oh, fuck, dude. Yeah, try it. I'm good, bro. <laughs> What's that? That, 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 that? that last thing you tried and you didn't want to. Oh yeah, it was the it was the oh, fucking the Gerber. Oh, oh God, yeah. I would puke. All right, someone at. Wait, you didn't eat the Gerber last time? No, you didn't. I can't, bro. I, wait. I swear, dude, everything will come out. Oh man, this is not. I'm, 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 I'm I talk a lot of shit, it. but when it comes to like stuff like, oh my God, I can't even handle it. Oh, we'll dude. prefer in front of the camera right here. And dude, the only reason I'd even puke that one time with that girl is because I didn't even eat anything the whole day. I didn't have there was nothing to puke out. This is good, bro. This is. Good. <laughs> oh, let me see your let me see your. This is good, bro. Like. This the uh, Jello is good. That Jello looks good as well. Right here. Oh, no. Like sometimes I think that this fool just invent shit. <laughs> it's fucking. It's like, dude, take that to your mom right now. See if she's gonna kick you out. There's a reason why you don't live here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. I want that go. jello instead. Wait, let me uh, this, uh Oh there's some there's some here right here. There you go. Indulge. Oh, I, look, Indulge. I, I'm here. gonna mix it. I'm gonna mix it. Oh man, I'll take a picture of this. Probably because it's creamier. You guys are crazy, bro. It's like you guys messed up that bread with that jello. And it's like not to be a dick, dude. You know paisas can't make jello. <laughs> yeah, you can't make jello. <laughs> I'm gonna do you thing. know what the only sweet stuff I like is like the champurado, bro. From right? Uh, champurado? Game. No, like like we make the tamales and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. That's a that's sweet. I, I like it when it has to be cold and what? super cold. Chaparral not cold. Yeah. No, no. Oh. When it's cold, when the weather's cold. oh, when the weather's like cold. Christmas. I like yeah, it yeah. like you know like um, you know when you're at a hillside in a rancho or something like that. You all like eating that, drinking it in some parking lot right here in La Puente. So is this like a like a dessert? It's a dessert. Yeah, it's como it's postre. Un postre, güey. Or like Come fucking to the Pan dulce and shit? No way. Yeah, hey, pan, pan, pan gelatina, way. Fuck, bro. My this one's gonna be afraid he loves it, dude. <laughs> I know, right? Bro. Diet, bro. It's the best thing ever, bro. It'd be all I do. You're gonna tell your wife what you ate. You're gonna have to fucking sleep in your truck tonight. <laughs> I'm gonna have the farts all night. Yeah, bro. Okay. Let's put some Mali's pepperoni in there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, put some pepperoni on it. Think about like what we're used to eating, dude. Like, yeah. Alright, here. Put this fucking gelatina like that. I'm gonna mix it. I'm gonna mix the two gelatinas right here. It's like fucking kryptonite. I'm gonna fucking shit. Oh, fuck, bro. I can just tell by the way you're making it that you're not even gonna like it. Cállate, wey. <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid. Oh, man. Hey, yeah, mine looks fucking actually nice, bro. Oh, shit. Let me... It looks oh. like the Mexican flag, bro. <laughs> Look at bro, here he goes. Cheers, cheers. Right, hold on, que viva la democracia, wey. Oh man, here he goes. Hold on, hold on. This brand actually... Wait, wait, do you have a name for this? No, no más es bolillo con gelatina, bro. Okay, bolillo con gelatina. <laughs> Take one. I mean, fuck it. like a little undocumented snack, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna fucking get here. Oh, dude, I don't want to ready. Oh, no, right? This yeah. guy's all ready to bite dude. with those teeth. But I hear you guys talking about. Oh my God, bro, it's good, bro. I think the bolillo actually is good. I think just knowing that's a bolillo is um is bugging me. Mmm. I think it's a bolillo that tastes good. I know. I do. Like sometimes they be. I do. They be selling garbage in Mexico. Like look at Takis, bro. You know what I mean? Come on. Oh, dude, I can't do it. Just mm -hmm. postres corrientes, babe. Let me see. I just feel like <laughs> bolillos. Uh, show, it to, show it to the camera. Doing bolillo dirty, bro. <laughs> I'll take one more bite, bro, just for. You know, it's the bolillo that tastes good. The bolillo, the bolillo, the bolillo. The bolillo. <laughs> the bolillo, dude. It's my little bolillo right here. Dude. The bolillo actually tastes good. Oh, dude, I don't know. This one got all honkified right now. Bolillo. 
Even the mic's like, stop, bro. It's like trying to be, it's like, it's like trying to be jelly, bro, you know? Don't try this. Yeah, dude. Like, see, like, all right, dude. Hey, bro, we made some churros. Oh, awesome. This? We think churros was like back then, like this was like something new. Like churros when it came out. Dude, I'm sure when the Chudro first came out, they were melting in people's mouths, I'm dude. Done. <sighs> I'm done. You got, just, a, you got like, an F, bro. Yeah, bro. There's like really no. Here you go. You know what it is? It's like empty calories. And only go Mad there. empty calories, dude. I'm going to the camera now. <laughs> oh, no, dude. That's. I would still say, hey, that's some garbage. I would not eat that again, bro. <laughs> no. Like it's easy. also those snacks, like those little <coughs> those little circles with the stars that they're like basically like a pasta, and then they throw them in the fryer and they get all crunchy. Like even that's garbage. Even yeah. I never enjoyed those things as a kid, dude. I don't know. In Mexico City, that's what they're into. Mexico City is like very uh, they. Tr- they're trendy, so right? in Mexico City, they try they try experiment with like 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 weird little street foods. They're trying to make it happen. So like this I, what, this is what happened, dude. There was a guy that had that got a deal on bolillos. And, <laughs> and they made on, a bunch on. of gelatina for, for New Year's. Nobody ate it. Then, wait, Let's try it. Mira, hijo, ven pa' acá. Te voy a dar unas gelatinas, unos gelatinazos, güey, y unos bolillos. Te va a cambiar la vida. No te quieres ir para el otro lado, don Chente. No, ¿cómo tienes de esos? Y te vas a ir patinando para los Estados Unidos, güey. Vámonos, compra cinco, güey, para tu familia y todos. Sí, es, es, la, es la nueva cosa aquí, güey. Gelatina con bolillo. Es la they're tricking people so basically that's all empty calories it's como it's just like know. they're trying to make i don't maybe it's been a thing that's been on for years because it's like it's i feel like this is just like ghetto poor food i remember I, the bag the bag with the soda with the straw that was good that was yeah good, right? that's like an 80s kid or whatever yeah. but i'm just saying that like think about it dude it's like those that's for people that never eat meat they're like all they eat is bolillo and fideo you know Bol- bolillo and meat bro that's that's it come on bro if I would, uh, if I was to show this to one of my uncles, they'll be like, "Don't ever call me again." Yeah, bro. <laughs> oh my god! Because you know, okay. So what? Else, so so the joke and uh, if I tell my mom about this, she's all, "Are you gonna stop calling me mom after this?" We're done. <laughs> ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? No te juntes con esos pinches güeyes. See, the Jello is there for a reason. The diff- the different flavors, right? Yeah, that's yeah. good stuff right there. But with the bolillo, bro. See, they're both good separate. I don't know about eating it together, man. Separate, bro. Yeah, but a... oh, it's all empty calories. It's just like kind of like it's como comida. ¿Cómo se dice? What do you say? Junk food in Spanish? Comida chatarra, güey. Comida chatarra. It's just kind of street food or trying to make it like <laughs> garbage. It's more of like I think it's more like a shock value or you want to take a picture of it. Look, look what I'm eating, bro. Oh. You know? Y aquí se las comen, güey, en la ciudad de México. Dame dos, güey. <laughs> and right there, when you're buying two, somebody robs you. It's like, yeah. bro, come on. Even the tacos are, are different than over here. Yeah, they're better, right? bro. The the big tortilla, right? But not in Mexico City. Um, they're just taco tacos. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, what I heard that um, what you hear, bro? Que, que the tacos from uh King Taco were originally like the guy that came from Mexico City. He started making those tacos to be like the tacos from Mexico City, which is is it, is it really like King well, Taco? No, bro. They're, King they're, tacos. They're, is, what I know that originally a taco that's originally <clears throat> from Mexico City is uh, tacos al pastor. Uh-huh. But they're all double taco. They're all double tortilla and little tortillas. Maybe that's probably they got started there. And then I noticed that um, in Zacatecas, that the tortillas get a little bit bigger. That's about mm. it. And then I also have, but I think they do it for a reason. Like taco tortillas are smaller, and then the tortillas that you eat with breakfast, <coughs> and lunch, and dinner are a little yeah. bit bigger. So well, okay, so there's like a debate in LA. People are like, okay, what's better, King Taco or Tacos del Gavilan? I th- Growing up, I always ate King Taco. That was the place to go after church. You know, yeah. we'd go there. It's close to your house. Gavilan to is the fake King Taco, bro. I like I'm Gavilan sorry. better now. No. Yeah, dude. Really? Because I used to eat at Tacos Gavilan when they no. were, when they were over there by like South Central Compton on they, Broadway. They were they were they didn't even have a. Um, it was a tent. Yeah, it was a tent on Broadway. That was like a Broadway in Slauson, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's There's one down the street. I don't. But now, don't now it's like a big chain. Now they're all right. Because first, they but were. I do think the tacos are better. The salsa is way better at um, at um, King Taco. The hot. But, but King Taco, you know that they don't have lemon. They won't give you lemon, right? No, dude. Because the lemons and they already put in the food. That's why the meat, that. the meat, the okay, meat, carne asada and King Taco is fucking bomb. But the only thing that they're like they're stingy with the, all that stuff, but. Tacos de Gavilan, it's like a party, bro. You go there at two in the morning. They have a oh, salad open, bar, bro. It's open, uh, that no, that. Yeah, they have a salad oh, bar. The cereals, frijoles, gratis, bro. Really? Pepinos and all that. Shit. Pepinos, like fucking little like jalapenos with the yellow pe- with the with the kind of dipped in like tahini or something like that, bro. It's a salad bar and King Taco. They don't let you do any of that shit. The, the owner died, bro. 
Kids oh, yeah, took over. Did, huh? The kids yeah. took over, bro. They're running it. I think it's kind of like down. it's like um, it's like In and Out now, where like everything's measured, <clears throat> everything like you know what I mean. Yeah. The burritos aren't even big. I remember getting one in two thousand one. It was huge, and now it's like a can of Coke. King Taco. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But King Taco used to be the place to go after parties, bro. I think still the street tacos are the shits, bro. Oh yeah. Even though they give you the shits, they're still good, bro. Danger tacos, little, bro. Little, little dirty finger tacos? Yeah, bro. Sometimes, we you know, the corner ones, you're like, fuck, hope I don't get ran over. You know, you hear those horror stories. <laughs> no, they like oh, they're about, good, bro. You go to a street tacos when they have that cazuela where it's high and then it goes low and then all the grease is there. And then they let the meat rest on the grease and then you come over and then they get the meat and they heat it up again. It's oh. just so saturated with that, yeah. that red heart attack juice. And I'm like, dude, I'm good, bro. Like, dick, I'm fat enough. Not enough. <laughs> you know what they call that in Mexico? They actually uh, scrape, right? It's called scrape, but they call tacos de basura, which is like the leftover. Every all the meat is like oh, no. what they throw away usually. Dude. Yeah, no, nah, dude, the same guy that eats tor tortas eats those tacos. <laughs> like that can kill you, right? That's oh like that, that's bad for your intestines, bro. But even like, like the when you cross the border, Bird though, shit, when you cross the border, like any stand is like Tijuana. fucking bomb, oh my bro. God, like, bro. But it's so different the way they make the guacamole, right? Like they just like splatter. It I just think there's <clears> like. The Man, I've said so this TJ, before. Bro. The taco maker that's making them there, that's like that's it, bro. He's not he's never gonna do anything else. Did they go up in price? No. Yeah. I haven't bro. been there for a while. They're, they're almost like two, they're two bucks. Two, they're like a buck, no being yeah. back in the day. It's there's no difference of prices between Tijuana and San Diego anymore, bro. Yeah. It's the same. It's expensive now. It's weird. No way. My mom told me that she remembers that going to Mexico, uh, when she was taking care of my grandma in two thousand twelve and she had to get, you know, like my, my grandma insures, you know, for uh you know, for nutritions, and that was the same price, bro. The Walmart's over there was the same price. It was like, dude, there's no difference, like from here or no, no, over there, bro. Era igual, bro. Yeah, I, I haven't been to you forever, bro. We gotta go, oh, bro. Let's go, dude. Go get Let's some tacos, it. dude. Get some tacos, bro. Yeah, we, dude. Tacos there. Okay, I would say. Yeah, uh, you, you got a uh, tacos for TJ. Wink. <laughs> <laughs> but the tacos there are the best, bro. Like this guy said, you 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 don't even like yeah. eating tacos here anymore. It's like, dude. The thing is, it's like <clears throat> the guy that's making tacos here. He's all mad. He's all the guy doesn't pay me enough. He said he was gonna move up. He's gonna make me a partner in the taco <laughs> shop. And you're still making tacos all mad over there. It's like, no way, no hay otra. Ta, 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 ta. <laughs> Quantos más quieres, gordo? <laughs> it's like it's like they come from a li long line of taco uh, taco men, taco men, well, taqueros. That's, that's what he does. He doesn't do anything. But else. even even the, the the Tijuana Rosarito is the same ones, right? Similar. I think uh, the, the only thing <coughs> at Rosarito you go, you get like bomb ass uh, fish tacos. The fish tacos, yeah, bro. Longa longas, longa Puerto Puerto Nuevo too, bro. You guys been to Puerto Nuevo? Yeah, I, mm. I, I haven't been there in a long time, but I remember going back there back in the day in the early 90s and then going in the early 2000s. It seemed to me that like they were like kind of catching too many lobsters and the lobsters got smaller. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's one thing I noticed. But again, maybe that's just the fat fool eye. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, you know, fat fools are like Terminator. Those big bags are más grandes antes, güey. We were in a Rosarito and then we're like, you know, in the hotel and shit. We're like, you know, let's go to Papa's and beer, you know? We, dude, I felt like an old man, bro. We're young people? I felt like an old man, dude. Hey, bro, and the thing is, it's like they keep getting younger and younger, bro. Because it's 18, you can drink over there. And you know, you see an 18-year-old kid, it's basically like that's a, a teenager. Dude, that's a, dude, they're like, children. Like, no stubble, like, really, like, you know, like, you know, unless he comes from a long line of hair. <clears throat> no, you, and we're just hanging out. We're like, fuck, man, like, like we don't belong here. We don't belong You're there, hanging bro. out with a bunch of mocosos, bro. Yeah, bro. Niñitos, it felt weird, bro. bro. It felt so weird, and like. Like but you're hanging out with your like your kids homies. Yeah, and then I, and then at the end I'm, I don't give a fuck. It's fucking TJ. Buzzed, huh? Yeah, you yeah, don't yeah, care yeah, no more. Yeah, dude. Fuck, I'll buy you a drink. It looks like you don't have any more. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> what I'll do. I'll, I'll buy him some. I'll buy him drinks. You know, like. And then you get all drunk. How much for that chick? Bro? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm drunk. <laughs> My right I'm there. drunk, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro I'm drunk. Oops. That's, Cause that, yeah, dude. So that's their spring break or that the people just go out there and party. That's crazy. I why well, remember what. I went They're still in high school at 18, bro. I went, I went, I got locked up there, bro, for one day. And, um, what? Dude? Just fighting, bro, you know? I forgot, we we're just fighting. Hey, bro. Yeah, just fighting. Dude. The lobster and, was and, bigger before, but, but bro. The, the, they <laughs> do it just to get out was 100 bucks. From jail? Yeah, bro, 100 bucks. What the fuck? But bucks, that's bro. a cool thing about Mexico. <clears throat> fucking $100, here. bro. You can't get locked up here. Hey, let me give you 100 bucks. What? You're trying to bribe an officer? 10 more charges over there. No way. No, no, no. 
no, because they. <laughs> it was a Saturday. They wanted me to see the judge the next day, and they just said like, "Hey, watch out there!" And I go, "Fuck!" Like, I don't they're have a judge out there, bro. No, dude. They're like, a dude will come out of the back room. No, they like, scare you, bro. He's painting a car. <laughs> 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 See you later. But I think over there the cops like it's all set up. They all look yeah, at you like look, they're trying to make a quick buck, bro. I don't know they if I do, ever bro. told you this. But they do though. They scare the shit out of you. And if I told you the story here, I got pulled over in Tijuana. The metemos en la silla, wait. What the fuck? <laughs> I got pulled over in Tijuana by a cop. <clears throat> and dude, I don't even have tin in windows. They're factory tin from Toyota. Oh, see. Sí. Es que los vidrios. He had a he had a word for it. I forgot what he said. But uh see, sí, están muy oscuros, <clears throat> huh? Mm -hmm. Están polarizados aquí oh, contra Dios. la ley. I was like, contra la ley? You got a dude skinning the cat <laughs> making tacos. <laughs> hey, the best the tacos, bro. over here like shaving. <laughs> <laughs> so, um. Meow, meow. Oh, man. Pues, tú dime. ¿Tienes dinero para el café o no? That's what he said, bro. But look, dude. El, el, el dinero para el they, café, they get, they they get their Rod. helmet on it. You can't get Little Rod, bro. <laughs> little Rod put his real money in his shoe underneath the sock. And then inside my wallet, I had seven bucks. And then I have change right there. Tengo siete dólares, todo lo que me sobra. Y después, ¿qué tienes en el cenicero? I was like, oh my God. Yeah, what's in the ashtray? That's what he said. 70 cents. <clears throat> okay. Te voy a dar un rete, pero te, te voy a dar un rete a la frontera y después te, y después te vas. Hey, but they're all in it, though. Man. Of course he was. They're all he in it. He turned on the lights, gave me a police escort to the border. <laughs> Fuck out of here, dude. <laughs> so scandalous, bro. I was reading this. I was reading this article how like uh, people are uh, mad, like the, the the resorts are mad at cost because people don't even want to go to like Rosarito anymore because they keep getting you know extorted for shit like that, bro. It's fucking up tourism. There was a saying in the eighties <clears throat> that uh, te quitan hasta los calzones, bro. Fuck, bro, it's crazy. I remember. So we went to go pick up. This 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 was a couple months ago. We went to go pick up my my aunt. From a Tijuana airport, right? So she came. So it was me, my mom, and my mom's friend. Fucking funny old, funny old lady, bro. She was fucking funny the whole time. We went, and then we had to wait for my my aunt to come. Like at four p.m., we got there early, and I told my mom, "Vamos a comer tacos." I took her to Taconasa, and we went to the bar that's across the street, right? So uh, me and my mom, we took a shot. We we drank a beer, and we took another. We we took two shots and a beer. She told you the truth. You don't know, say to my mom. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> it is. Could it be homie? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And then, dude, we went to Taco and I was all drunk as fuck. And then I remember we ate, we picked up my aunt. And then, dude, we fucked up. Cause, okay, so the Uber from the border to Taco Naso was only $8, bro. It was fucking, I think it was probably cheaper. Yeah, right. You know, from the from there to the airport. So my mom, my mom smoked cigarettes. I hate it. And then she was like, I'm, I can't even look. She bought a fucking big old pack of cigarettes because it's cheaper there. I'm like, oh, fuck it, dude. You want to start with having this barra. Era un go go dancer, mijo. And then, so we, we took the uh, uh, Uber from there to the airport, cheap too, right? Luego we get my aunt And then like There's a guy you know From like there That's pushing my aunt Cause my aunt She broke her arm And fucking Michoacan That's where she had to Come back early And then the guy's like Oh yo conozco un amigo Yo conozco alguien Que te puede dar un rate Para atrás a la frontera Es parte Trabajan aquí I'm like oh cool So like it seems so official And you're like it's like another fool in Mexico. Motherfucker. Like, <laughs> the guy at the fucking it's like a guy from Surrey Airlines. So like, hey dude, my friend can give it right. We we it's the same company. Alfred. We believe that motherfucker. We get in the car <laughs> and then dude, we get to the fucking uh the border. Or right, va, va ochenta dollars. Like, what Whoa. the fuck, bro? My dude, mom gosh. and the lady that came with us, the, my mom's friend, she's like it is una rata. It is una pincha rata. I'm like, all right, that's enough. I think these guys are fucking kidding me. Like, you know what, dude? Let's get out of the car. Ahorita, deja de carmen. Sabes que vete a la verga antes que le llamo las autoridades. Así que los molestas, cabrón. Nos tocaste hasta acá, güey. Nos trataste de violar. But, bro, my, my, that lady was like, eres, eres, eres una. I don't know where she comes from. She's like, no puedo creer que nos hiciste esto. Eres un, micro, un microbio, güey. Eres esperma y te voy a, te voy a tragar. Like, what the fuck? Hey, they ended up paying him. We paid, bro. Why did you just uh, say, you know, that we only have 60 bucks, but you know what? Vienen del otro lado, tienen lana. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'm like, dude, yeah, oop, from now on, we're sticking like with Mexico, Uber, bro. bro. I don't like about Mexico, dude. It's a, there's always a little trick, bro. <laughs> it's always like, they're like, dude, like you can't fire anybody without them coming back going, you know, I'm going to sue you unless you give me some money, right? I see. <laughs> like, they're your friends, bro. They yeah, ask you questions. No, si aquí todos bien. Somos del mismo país. And then, paisanos. And then they act all different, como que no te conozco. Me debes así, güey. And my mom, and when we're crossing, when we cross the border back, she's like, me, me, me gusta mucho mi país, pero allí 
son, 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 bien, son bien cabrones allá. Dude, I, 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 I and that's how you felt. That's you were so mad when we came back when they fucking charged you for that fuck for this thing, dude. Bro, we go over there to really? do a podcast with our homie Joel on the Spanish podcast that we do those podcasts in the Norte. So I brought this recorder, right? Well, then this fool like he put it through, right or whatever. It's like, dude, put it, your, put it underneath, <clears> you know. And, I, and I'm all, this guy's taking forever. What happened? And then he texts me, dude. He calls me. Where are you? They're trying to charge you. They're saying that this thing costs like a thousand dollars. And I was like, oh my oh, god. Shit. So I finally found something. They showed it for like six hundred bucks. They got me for eighty bucks. They're trying to get them no. like a like a twenty percent from taxes. the. Like I'm gonna go over there and sell it. Well, the airport. No, no, like, no, it was no, just crossing the border, like, like uh, order. What, what you want to say, customs in Mexico? Oh, yeah, if some, if somebody's over six hundred bucks. But I was like, come on, bro. Yeah, that's what happened to furniture. With it, me. They, they were saying it cost originally two thousand six hundred bucks. I'm all, listen, where'd you get that? No, aquí dice, pues déjeme ver. Oh, perdí la página. Y, so next time, just take a receipt. <clears throat> oh yeah, well we, we had to look it up and where I bought it from. No, uh, dude, I had to call my wife and show me. Yeah, the really? Cause, yeah, because I had like a a two hundred dollar like um like a, a guitar center um, gift card. So then it took that off. But yeah, dude, they were, I was like, Ugh, bro, like, dude, I like Mexico, but at the same time, dude, they can suck this dick. <laughs> <laughs> and those are his words. <laughs> yeah, I didn't say that. No, I love Mexico. Pero las mujeres nos pueden chupar el pito. It's just like people that do that. It's just like, yeah. really like man, like we're having so much fun, and you guys got to feel they, it. They know it too. Try and make they a do. quick buck, and that happened to you, like fucking. You paid the for the, the judge. Well, dude, I had to get out of jail, bro. They. You don't, you don't know if they're, gonna, if they're for real or what, you know? Te vamos a poner la silla eléctrica, güey, si no nos pagas. Like, what the fuck, dude? I was 17, bro. <laughs> <laughs> whatever you want to say, you're in a foreign country, bro, and you're subject you to their laws. You have to their respect their laws, bro. And every time you and Rodrigo go to TJ and we come back, every time we cross the border, we're like... <sighs> you guys don't have you don't have a passport, right? I have my passport yeah. card. But, but, you, the but card. TJ, they don't give a fuck. You can go with your, really? la your traffic license. They don't care. You're in the system, dude. No way. Yeah, they don't... As long as you're a U.S. citizen... What's it called? They cannot detain you. You know, I remember like I went, when we went last time, uh, I had like an expired uh, driver's license, and they're like, "That's it." No and I remember they didn't even check my bags, bro. I brought tacos and like I brought fucking. Uh, uh, you can't bring fruit, right? They don't. They don't check, bro. Yeah. They do not check, dude. I brought over fucking whole bunch of uh, antibiotics, dude. Anthrax, no fucking Viagra <laughs> pills, bro, for all my homies. They didn't check. Them. Was, okay, they're all right. Go for it, dude. Really? Huh? They don't care, dude. It's it's very. Uh, so then, but every time we cross over, we're like, dude. Once you get across <sighs> the border, it's like such a relief because you never know what something can always go wrong. That's why I don't, I don't like going by myself, bro. Because, dude, you can talk shit out here, but out there in Mexico, you it's a different dude, story, bro. It never feels when I when we always come back from a trip. They always like you know you, you go to customs and you, you know your <clears throat> passports whatever, and then my my whole family goes. I always go last, you know, make sure they're good, and then yeah. They always say, yep, yeah, come over here. I'm like, I will go first, bro. Hey, forget you guys. Homie. No, they look at my passport <laughs> yeah. in the for system. And they always ask me, like, what school did you go to? What what high school? What elementary school? They have everything on you. Yeah, they have oh, everything. Yeah, exactly. You're like, okay. But now, like, in, like if we come back from a, a TJ, they don't really ask for stuff because all they do is really just uh, the camera take a picture of you. And, they, like, like it's all facial recognition now, really? bro. Yeah. yeah oh, dude, we got a video of you coming in and going out of Hong Kong. So, yeah, what were we doing in Hong Kong, you know? <laughs> let, let me smell, let me uh, smell uh, your hand. <laughs> uh, sorry, man. I'm an exterminator. I was killing roaches. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, I'll break. <laughs> That's it. An hour. Thank you a lot, guys. It was fun. It was fun. Do you have any shows? Uh, yeah, we have. Uh, we have this week. I'm gonna post. I'm gonna post the audio tonight. We have uh, Wednesday the uh, Hollywood Improv. Yeah, March six, uh, Wednesday, ten thirty p.m. at the Hollywood Improv. Uh, what's up, Wednesdays? Rizzo, me, Gabby Lamb, Saul Trujillo, and Vince Caldera. Go to the uh, Improv web website, or just go to my handle, and um, the uh, link is on there. And in two months, we're gonna have a big party right here in El Monte at the com at the post for Cuatro de Mayo. It's in a pot, man. See, sí, wait. Compran los tickets, wey. Yes. And this podcast has been brought to you by Active Collision. So if you guys are, uh, if you guys, I mean, you guys got in a lot of collisions this little rainy. <laughs> yeah. So what's the number right here, Leo? You call six two six three three zero zero one zero zero. You f you fucking crash them. We, we fix them. Yeah, man. Peace out. Later. Orale. Love you guys. Bye. Están Ready Bros Podcast.